I have officially lost my mind. Hi everybody, welcome back to Dino Guy Baseball. I have lost my mind because I am buying all the Kyle Lewis cards that I can. I think he might be officially my favorite player now, so I'm putting those sweet video editing dollars into Kyle Lewis cards. If anything, the value is down a little bit because he hurt his knee again, so hopefully he comes back super strong or I'm just going to have a lot of fond memories and no money. I've got the Kalu Madness. Alright, let's start it out with this. I have seven of his base Diamond King 2021 Donruss cards. Um, a good portion of those came, I got one in a box actually that I pulled myself. Super pumped about that, that's why it was in, that's why it's in the penny sleeve. Because I was like, oh I gotta keep this safe. And then I got these in a lot of cards. Like I was buying it for one specific variation of the Diamond King, but it came with six of the base also, so I'm not going to argue with that. Sticking with Diamond Kings, I've got my Blue Star variation. I made it abundantly clear, I think, in my last video that I'm super, super into the Blue Star variation, so I picked that one up, I think, for about $1.50. Really good value on that for me. I have the Blue Hollow variation. I believe also in the $1.50 to $2 range. And these two are the 2021 short prints um, with the candy cane stripes, I call them. I have number 500 out of 2021, and I was very excited. This is the one I got with the six base cards, and I believe in total I somehow pulled that off for $2.50. I pulled this one organically. 165 out of 2021. That's pretty solid. That one went straight in the top loader. I think all of them are going to go in there. Because I'm just insane. Uh, I couldn't be done with Donruss though. I'm looking at a couple right now on eBay. Uh, Rainbow Foil. And I really, really like the 2021 short print one. So I could be looking at more of those. But I also invested in Bowman. I got a lot of 10 of them. For a dollar, this is why. This is the risk you run with running auctions on eBay. If it just slips through, or people are like, "I don't need ten of them," then the value just doesn't shoot up. That's why I do buy it now on everything because I have a set price that I know, and if I want it lower, I can set it lower. So I got ten of the Bowman. I also went crazy with tops. Let me set those right there. I pulled four. I know these are technically his second year, but I have pulled four of his Rookie Cup second year 2021 Tops cards. I actually thought I had more of those, so they could pop up, but I for sure have four. I've got the Tops Heritage Rookie Cup cards, or I guess they're all-star rookies, but two of those, one pulled organically, or this one was organic. This one I was ordering online because I was like, ooh, I need that. Very next box pulled it. The New Age Performers Kyle Lewis card, I don't think I pulled this one. I think I actually got that one with the other one. Maybe not. No, 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 no. I paid $1.50 for this one. I should call myself the Frugal Collector or something because I don't think I've ever spent more than $5 on one individual card. And just because I, I can't have enough nice things, I got three of the Donruss base for 2021. This one was super cool. Let me look at it make sure I get this right. Diamond Kings as its own brand, where they're selling those boxes, which are super rare. I know someone, shout out Kyle, who finds a lot of these boxes of cards for me. He just got a blaster box of these, but I bought this one online. This is Artist Palette Kyle Lewis. I think that that one's one of the cooler looking Kyle Lewis cards I have. I got the 2020 <laughs> Christmas holiday collection ones they were doing the holiday line I think through Walmart I see them pop up all the time I bought some Gavin Lux like this I think I have an Eloy Jimenez yeah I think it's I think it's super silly the snowflakes and everything but God this Ricky I gotta take it tops fire is one I've seen come up for 2020 before I wish I could have been around to buy I say would have been around I could probably find them but they're still price gouging to buy packs of these because these are very cool looking but I had to go order a Kyle Lewis one and these are Topps Gallery I believe I got these in a lot I think I spent five bucks for the both of them 
this was back when I was starting out and I wasn't like really looking super carefully at prices like I was but I saw these and just start slapping bids on them so it was one of my first more than one dollar purchases but I got two of them so that's super solid for me 2021 these are the 1965 heritage um, I think I actually like this the way this one looks a little bit better the 65's look really nice I think they're proportioned really well um, I really like the black on the bottom this is just like a really nice looking card um, I have already made a video about Gypsy Queen cards. I really, really dig those for some reason. This one was a little bit harder to find. Most people who sell them in bulk where you have the drop down menu to buy whichever card you're looking for. Um, Kyle Lewis was always out on those so I had to find this one individually. But I was able to sneak it out for under 3 bucks. And this one was actually the most difficult one to find because again I'm the frugal collector over here. I didn't want to spend the $5 on the Topps Allen and Ginter. So I was always slapping bids on. I would be at work and it would end in a price range that I, I liked because I was willing to spend about $3. I don't, while he's my favorite player, I also try to keep it under a certain point. I know that like a dollar difference for what it sells for, for what I was willing to pay, won't make that big of a difference in my life, but I'm trying to be restrained and have like a real business model for this. Again, not to be like a millionaire selling cards and scalping people or anything, but just to sustain the hobby and have fun doing it. I finally got this, again, for like $3. They're, they were constantly selling for about 5 there for a while, but this would be probably my favorite Kyle Lewis card in this little bunch that I started on. Thank you for sitting through that. Uh, I'm pretty sure I might have a couple more Kyle Lewis cards thrown in my box that I couldn't find because I'm reorganizing right now. So of course I just that's why I was motivated to make a couple videos today. I just need to I'm getting things under control and hopefully I'm gonna be pumping out more content for you. I'm buying a lot of cards and I'm also selling the cards, so everything's in flux right now. I'm just gonna start showing off some of the probably nearly thousand cards that I've pulled this season. Thank you again for watching, go follow me on Twitter, keep watching me on YouTube, go on my eBay, pay me a bunch of money for my cards. Be cool man, we're over halfway through the baseball season and it is going to be a super exciting finish, so go out and enjoy some baseball today.